Today's video, Harley Quinn gets cute, okay, cuter, from the folks over at Cryptozoic Entertainment. Today we're going to be having a look at the Harley Quinn vinyl figure. Harley Quinn has been around for over 25 years and she is crazy as ever. This figure pays tribute to the character's origins by depicting her in her classic red and black jester costume, the same outfit she wore when she was introduced in Batman the Animated Series in 1992. She playfully holds her signature mallet behind her back as a reminder that when Harley is around, mayhem is always just moments away. Let's grab tape measure, figure out how tall this adorable little Harley Quinn is. So stopping the tape measure right there. There we go. Right. I'm going to stop it right there. That's a good place. The tape measure, the Ultra Measuretron 5000, tells us that the Harley Quinn statue stands 7.4 inches in height. In centimeters, don't worry, don't worry. Centimeters, I know you wanted to see centimeters. 18 18.8 centimeters in height. As the packaging had touted, Harley Quinn has been around for over 25 years. Can you believe that? Since 1992, she's been wreaking havoc along with her love, the Joker. Here we have Harley Quinn in her classic uh, Batman animated series jester outfit here. Very faithful to her original appearance. And of course, though Harley Quinn has changed over the years, many different outfits, many different looks, I still hold this one as highest regard. I really love, I've always loved the Jester Harley. And I think Cryptozoic has done a really great job of recreating that in a more simplified, stylized way. Cryptozoic are also no strangers when it comes to Harley Quinn. They've released a whole ton of Harley Quinn and bombshell uh, figures, statues like this. We've seen them in the past and I've done a whole ton of reviews of them. But I'm really loving the fact that they've given her the classic Jester outfit here. I also really like the stance that they've got her in. One foot firmly planted here on the almost Harley Quinn style of base. Been neat if actually they had alternated some blacks in there as well as the reds. But here we have an all red diamond motif similar to what she would get on her legs, like down here, for example, or even on her arms. Uh, but I do like the stance, how they've got the one foot arched. She's kind of leaning forward very playfully here. Head sculpt is cute, but very accurate to how Harley Quinn used to look. I like that they've got the little sparkle of light there on her eyes. Unfortunately though, like the white isn't as solid as I think it could have been. Maybe an, a second coat of white could have also had added, had been added so that you didn't see a little bit of the black underneath. But other than that, I'm really happy, really loving the face. Usually for some strange reason, when companies do Harley Quinns and they give her a smile amongst the backdrop of this chalky makeup, they often give her yellowed teeth, and I'm glad here Cryptozoic has decided to keep the teeth nice and white and pristine. Face is very nicely sculpted here. 
very cutely shaped. She's got her little pom-poms there on either side. I'm digging, I'm really loving the face here quite a bit. I also like too that they've sculpted a seam line right here. In theory, you could imagine that she is actually wearing this cow piece, this mask uh, kind of hood piece over top of her because she's actually got that little line right there. It's not just simply that they've painted the face just over top of a, a uniformed shaped head. You can also see a, a very clear definitive shape where ideally her hair would be tucked inside of this, this hood. Coloring here carries on very nicely. Further down as we look at the figure, she's got the little colored frilled piece there on the top of her shoulders and also the cuffed sleeves. Very vibrantly painted in white. In fact, actually, it's the eyes that are the only place where I think a second coat of paint could have gone extra. The rest of the figure actually paint-wise looks really quite good. They've made her very hippie. Very narrow on the on the uh, torso area here, very uh, much wider there kind of gives her a nice hourglass sort of hourglass figure sort of kind of gives me that vibe of like the old 40s pinups black here and the alternating red are nice touches uh, the black nicely done here in the little triangle diamond decos here on the sides of her leg and carried away a little bit further down are the red the alternating colors the black to the red and of course when we spin the little vinyl figure around you see that she's also sporting her mallet very obviously sporting it there's no way that she could hide for the fact that she's got this giant mallet right at the back of her still don't know how she could wield a mallet that heavy but nonetheless it's some nice almost animated portrayal of way that that mallet looks it looks uh, it's got a natural wood grain to it but they've simplified it slightly omitting some of the more necessary details that would make it look a little bit more realistic. Much like Harley Quinn herself, the mallet kept to more of a cartoonier look to it, and I quite like that. The bands in the metal are painted here in uh, almost a medium matte gray, and those, much like the rest of the figure, very nicely, very well executed in paint. Um, none of the figure can be moved. I mean, that's not really necessarily what the statue is for. The statue, by the way, was designed by Pedro, at, I think, I believe, I believe it's Astadillo, and it was sculpted by Anders uh, Enredborg. So they've done really a nice job on her. This isn't the first, nor likely the last Harley Quinn uh, vinyl statue that I'm going to pick up from the folks over at Cryptozoic. Um, really happy with what they're doing over there. Uh, they've already proven to us several times over how good they're doing at, with the DC Bombshells lineup. And I have to say that the animated treatment of Harley Quinn looks just as good. Now, some good news for Harley Quinn fans out there. This Harley Quinn vinyl figure is currently available in most online stores. Uh, most online stores, like for example, Entertainment Earth, has it sold out. The price point would have been for this one if you picked it up online, $29.99. Good news, however, though, that sort of started with bad news, but good news is you can find these often at most comic book stores. The comic book store in my area, for example, are stocking many of the Cryptozoic Entertainment pieces, so if you guys are interested in picking these up for yourself, source out a local comic book store in your area. You can go to www.comicshoplocator.com, put in your necessaries, and Comic Shop Locator will, in turn, return back some necessaries as to where you can find a store in your area. No, I'm not sponsored by Comic Shop Locator, but it is an awfully helpful tool. I've used it in the past, and if for all you guys have asked, whereabouts do you get some of your stuff from? You can find them at your local comic book stores nine times out of ten. And if they can't, they, they don't have it, for example, just ask the person that's working there. They'd be more than happy. They don't want to lose your business, after all. They'd be more than happy to order these, go, these ones in for you. If you haven't already picked it up, go to your local comic book store. That's the best 411 information I can give you guys. I'm all about giving 411 information. More 411 information will be coming your way in, in way of Cryptozoic Entertainment reviews. So if you guys are big fans of Cryptozoic pieces, don't worry, don't fear. We're going to have a look at some more future pieces coming onto this channel. Make sure as well you do the necessaries by hitting that, four, that 411, that subscription button down below. That's not really quite a 411, but 411, hit that little subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already because future videos will be coming your way. And you don't really want to miss the train when it's already left the GO station. You want to be on that train and on the train to future reviews. So hit that little subscribe button down below. You're good to go. More videos will be coming your way. You'll be good to go for that. And I'll see you guys next time.